Hello everyone, welcome to automation community. Today in this video, we are going to discuss an example which will be about automatic washing machine. So let's look at the example first. Automatic washing machine. When start button is pressed, it starts filling water for 10 seconds, then agitate for 30 seconds, then drain the water for 5 seconds, spin the drum for 10 seconds, and then buzz buzzer will be on for 10 seconds. So for this example, we will use normally open contacts, and we will be also using some timers like pulse timer and on delay timer. So let's move to TI portal version 16 where we will draw a ladder diagram for this automatic washing machine. This is the interface of TI portal where we will draw a ladder diagram for automatic washing machine. So firstly, we need to go to PLC tags and then default tag table. So here we need to add our inputs and outputs. For this example, we have only one input that is start button. And then we have a few outputs like the pump that is will be used to fill the water. Uh, I will uh, state the name of the operation here. Instead of the component, I will write filling. And then we have agitation agitation it will be another uh, motor and then we have drainage drain and then we have spin and then we have buzzer so we have five outputs and one input so here this these are all outputs i will uh, assign the addresses to this as q0.0 Q0.1, 2, 3, and 4. As all of these are um, outputs, that's why the address will start with Q. Since the start button is an output, so its address will start with I. And then we have to go to program blocks, then main OB1. So here we will draw the ladder diagram. Firstly, I will zoom into it like this. Firstly, I will insert a normally open contact for start button and then a coil for filling. This will be start button and the coil will be for filling. So the filling process will go on for 2 seconds. Sorry, for 10 seconds. So for that, we will insert a timer operation that is a TP here and the preset value for this uh, TP will be 10 seconds. And then when start button is turned on, for that I will use a, a normally open contact. And then after filling, that is after 10 seconds, that means there will be a delay of 10 seconds. So the preset value will be 10 seconds. So after 10 seconds, that means after filling, after filling, there will be a process of agitation. So for that, I will insert a coil here. And this will be for agitation. And this agitation process should go on for 30 seconds. So for that, I will insert a timer here, TP. And the preset value for this will be 30 seconds. That means there will be an agitation for 30 seconds after filling of water. And after agitation, that means after filling and agitation, that is 10 and 30 after 40 seconds. So when start button is turned on and after 40 seconds, that is there will be a delay of 40 seconds, the preset value <coughs> will be 40 seconds. That means after 40 seconds, there will be the process of draining out the water. So for that, I will insert a coil here and the name of the coil will be drain. So there will be some mechanism which will drain out the water. 
that will be obviously a pump but this process should go on for only 5 seconds so for that I will insert a TP here and this TP will be preset value for this will be 5 seconds and after draining the process that means 40 plus 5 that is 45 seconds that is when start button is turned on after 45 seconds another process of spinning will start for that I will insert a coil here sorry here and this coil will be for spinning so the spinning process will go on after 45 seconds for that I will insert a T on on delay timer and the preset value for this will be 45 second 45 second and this process should go on for 10 seconds for that I will insert a TP here and it will be 10 second 10 second after that after spinning the the buzzer will turn on that means 45 and 10 is 55 seconds so after 55 seconds start button turned on will wait for 50 uh, 5 seconds there will be an on delay timer here with a preset value 55 second 55 second and after 55 second buzzer will turn on i will insert a coil this will be a for buzzer and this buzzer should remain on for 10 seconds for that i will insert a coil that will be a tp sorry a timer that will be tp and the preset value for this will be 10 seconds <clears throat> so firstly when start button is pressed filling of water will start for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds agitation will go on and after agitation draining of water goes on and then spinning and after that a buzzer will turn on for 10 seconds so now i will start simulation click on ok then load then finish Click on load and then finish. After that, I will start CPU here and then start monitoring. And after that, I will switch to project view. There, we need to create a new project. Here, create a new project. Click on OK, create. After that, go to simulation tables, then simulation table 1, and here, right click here and then load project tax. So, the start button. When start button is turned on, start button is turned on, filling of water starts, and after 10 seconds, this process will stop. It stops and then agitation will start for 30 seconds. So the process of agitation is going on and it will end after 30 seconds. So 10, 11, 
so in those uh, 30 seconds this uh, draining of water is waiting 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 a station stops draining starts after five seconds it will stop and then spinning process will start and it will end after 10 seconds and after 10 seconds 7 8 9 10 spinning stopped and buzzer turns on for 10 seconds and after 10 seconds buzzer stops buzzer stop it was all about this automatic washing machine thank you for watching